So, YouTube family, we've reached a point where we got record-breaking situations in Chicago. Record-breaking. Like, Chicago got the lowest homicides that you can say in a good proportional minute. Chicago is basically homicides and shootings are both down in Chicago year over year. CPD Superintendent Brown and Mayor Lightfoot held a press conference to provide an update on public safety according to release from the mayor. Now I'm going to show you guys what they talked about on that interview, what was the subject about, how did they handle it, and, and, and what you know took place through the transaction of this conference. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, gang. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'd like to thank Pastor uh, Toledo, Pastor Jose Figueroa, Pastor Edgar Rivas, and Pastor James Alexander for hosting us today at the Church Chicago Tabernacle. Lamentamos un aumento en los robos de autos y otros delitos. Personas, si ven algo, digan algo. Trabajando junto los residentes de Chicago y la comunidad, la That's the um, Community Safety Coordination Center's Chief Coordination Officer, Tamara Mahal. Uh, Lakeview East Executive Director, Maureen Martino. Uh, BMO uh, Spank, uh, President Dave Casper, um, and our own Father Flager, a longstanding champion for community safety. Increasing community safety by addressing guns, gangs, and the root causes of violence is one of the city's top priorities. And you've heard me speak about this often this year. You may uh, often hear me say that when it comes to our community safety strategy, that we are using a whole of government approach. Leveraging the full weight of Chicago city government, resources, relationships, and expertise is a holistic and powerful way to wrap our arms around communities and make them safer. Uh, this responsibility of community safety simply cannot fall on CPD alone. With our community and law enforcement, I urge every resident and every business to sign up your home security camera. Video is a crucial, crucial part of solving all crimes, but particularly homicides and shootings. Let me share just two examples when video helped solve a burglary and a carjacking. Last November, a business owner received a call, uh, a phone alert on his phone in the middle of the night. His video surveillance system had detected motion in his place of business. The business owner contacted police and provided them with the video. As a result, as a result, an offender was charged with a felony count of burglary, and all of the owner's items were recovered and returned to that person. In another example last year, a juvenile offender was charged with aggravated vehicular hijacking. This juvenile offender and his accomplices carjacked an individual on the residential block on the south side. Detectives work with a community initiatives that will empower residents and businesses alike uh, to increase safety. These initiatives will increase visibility on our blocks and get dangerous illegal guns out of the hands of people who use them to do harm. First, Chicagoans, homeowners, and businesses alike will be able to protect their homes and blocks by registering their existing security camera systems with the Chicago Police Department. Now, this is, of course, a totally voluntary program. But when you think about it, when something happens, detectives respond, they do a community canvas and literally go door to door to find witnesses, but also other evidence. And increasingly, videotape evidence is crucial in our crime fight. So by having existing businesses and residents uh, register their cameras, you are literally becoming our eyes and ears. Through this registration process, police can be more targeted in the outreach that's done and quickly access necessary and important camera footage. Now again, to be clear, registration does not mean the CPD will be able to routinely access camera footage without your prior consent. No, what this does is give us a tool
that when something happens in a particular location, detectives and other police officers will know where to look to find camera footage. Registering cameras will simply streamline that process by giving detectives early information about where they can look for possible videotape evidence. Superintendent Brown will talk later about how such footage has been effective in identifying those responsible for recent crimes and aided our detectives in solving those crimes. And we know that when we are effective in catching and holding um, dangerous, violent people accountable, we deter future crimes and give you residents confidence that we are on the job. Second initiative that I want to announce today, um, and it's related to the first one. Um, this will, um, a program that we're calling Home and Business uh, Protection Rebate Program, will allow residents and small businesses to get a discount off the purchase of security cameras to protect uh, their homes and property. So some of you have talked to us at these various com um, community meetings and say... Signing up may be the difference between offenders walking free or being held accountable. If you have any footage now, please send detectives that footage at cpdtip.com. That's cpdtip.com for any footage you currently have that shows any crimes been happening. Make sure you hit that like button for I Smoke Hip Hop Live channel to grow. Share this video. The video is still carrying on. I just want you guys to support and let everything gradually happen naturally. Thank you for watching this video. The video will resume right now. 21 officers recovered 12,000 guns, more than New York and LA combined, and a record for the Chicago Police Department. So far this year, Chicago police officers have recovered more than 2,500 guns. But the work continues. The work is very, very dangerous to our officers. That's why our partnership with the business community is key. We all, again, we all have a part to play and we are in this together. Every business's commitment to sponsor gun turn in impacts Chicago. Every gun turned in saves lives. An example would be for every domestic incident where there's a gun, that domestic incident is more dangerous. Every road rage incident where there's a gun in the car, that accident, that road rage is more dangerous. So I want to make sure that the businesses know this. Um, also, because they are, the police is not going to have direct access, access to your camera. You need to be giving them permission to do this. So don't think that business affairs is going to be looking at the cameras out there and taking notes. It's really about making our community safe. Registering your cameras. The businesses that are out there that already have cameras should register them. This will help us find the criminals that are making um, havoc in our community. We need, we need to all work together. Many times we ask, what can we do to keep our business community safe? This is one step that will be vital in making the arrest needed and keeping criminals off our streets. We ask that our business communities come together to be part of the solution when it comes to making our city safe. Please register your camera today. Thank you again to Mayor Lightfoot and I look forward to continued collaboration. And now I welcome David Casper from B. Is that you have to win, you have to have some clear victories um, in order to get to the championship game. In order to stand on that court, uh, on this day I believe they're playing tonight, there had to be some victories before you get to this championship game. Uh, and I believe that's very essential for us as a city as well. Uh, when we look at public safety uh, and the fight to win our communities, is one that we have to do community by community. We have to have some wins in each and every one of our communities so that we can win as a city. And that goes along with Mayor Lightfoot was talking about a little early in her speech, that we have to do this not individually, but we have to do it unified as a city, as business owners, as seniors, as stakeholders. Initiatives to build a better city of Chicago, because each and every one of us, whether you stand behind a camera or sit in the audience or sit on this stage, 
We all deserve a Chicago that we could be very proud of. Thank you so much. Think about that. Are there unsecured guns in your home? Is there a gun in your home where there's a volatile situation or where there's somebody with mental health challenges that shouldn't have access to a gun? Whatever the scenario is, I hope that this will prick your consciousness and really cause you to think and then act. And the action is turn in that gun. So three things that we talked about today, registration of existing cameras, um, critically important. We just want to know where the cameras are to speed the police department's ability to uh, investigate a serious crime and whether there's videotape evidence that might be helpful. A rebate program. If you've been wanting to get a camera for your home, for your business, but haven't taken the step, or if money has been um, a, pro a prohibition, this is the time to step up. And if you're like me, not so handy with the tools, but want to take advantage of this, we'll, we can help you with that as well. Don't yet let the installation be the reason that you don't take advantage of the rebate program. And with that, I'm happy to take your questions. Thanks a lot, Mayor. Two questions per reporter, ladies. What we know is that there's not sufficient intervention that's happening. And I think uh, Father Mike has got it right. We all need to be focused on prevention, um, from, make, from making sure the crimes don't happen in the first instance. But when they do, we've got to take the appropriate steps to make sure there's accountability. And I'm not talking about um, locking people up, and certainly not teens and children, locking them up and throwing away the key. But we have a number of different programs in the neighborhoods um, to provide support for those who have strayed, but also, frankly, to hopefully get our the other young people that haven't picked up a gun or engaged in criminal activity involved in positive um, opportunities, whether it's at the parks, whether it's at school, libraries, after school programs, the faith community, there's a, a wide array of resources at the neighborhood level that are available for our young people. Make sure you guys hit that like button, that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, man, I'm trying to give you guys all the content, creative content, contents of all kinds of walks of life. Make sure you guys also support my social media platforms everywhere. Show some love. Subscribe to my Instagram as well, at DJ underscore bless one. I like also giving you guys exclusives like this. I'm trying to be transparent so we can get the wave and build the platform back up where it needs to be what you could do to help besides supporting and donating is just hit a like button share the video get engaged in the chat room now youtube is not giving out my notifications anymore so i need you guys to hit the notification button and show some love gather yourself accordingly and support look man mary Lori lightfoot she stamped it and said what she had to do about the city of chicago i don't approve of her a lot at all i don't give her credit at all but in this video I'm somewhat going to stop being somewhat of a hater or a critique and give her some props that part she's actually trying to make the change in her society in her communities because the people in chicago do want a change like that so if she could bring it then she got my support i don't even like the woman educational purpose because the way she's moving with the city and the way she's going against the gangs she's not even going against them properly she's actually i don't even want to talk about that part go watch my documentary on mary Lori lightfoot connections with the gangs and the other officers connection with the gangs down there now you guys support the platform Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm your guy, DJ underscore bless one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang, without a doubt.